for these young crime fighting wardens getting this job has been a dream come true with them taking pride in serving their communities it is really really exciting i must say very very exciting and uh, the most important thing i've been wanting to serve my province and got the opportunity that, that I got now and then it's so exciting that I will be able to be a one, one of the peace officers in my province and prevent crime. Recent statistics show that in Hatting alone the unemployment rate rose to 63.9% for those between the ages of 15 and 24 and 42.1% for the 25 to 34 age group worrying figures that have left authorities battling to find solutions. The almost 6,000 new crime prevention wardens will be sent to various townships, informal settlements and hostels to help the police fight crime. Five months ago, these young people were unemployed. Six months later, these young people are employed by Gauteng permanently not for three months, not for six months, but forever. The Premier acknowledged the teething problems the programme has had. Some of you on day one you might not have your own boots. Some of you on day one you might not have your own belt. Some of you on day one you might not have your own beret. Some of you on day one you might not have your own car. Some of you on day one you might not have your firearm. Some of you on day one, you didn't even know where you are deployed. He's been criticized for recruiting and training ill-equipped and inexperienced youth to fight crime in the province at the cost of millions of rands. Those who thought were joking, those who thought this will never happen, they've now changed their tune and say these peace wardens are the waste of money they are not going to do anything. We want to respond to them and say, this decision to establish 6,000 peace wardens, it's not a waste of money. Gauteng Community Safety HOD says the logistics of putting the peace force together has been a mammoth task. At approximately 450 million at the moment, uh, because we had our first cohort, of at least uh, of, uh, 3, 000, or 4, 000 odd. Uh, we have 4,000 uh, odd. We have a cohort of 1,500 at the moment. And so uh, we had then phases. So in terms of the tools of trade from the uniform, from the uh, uh, taser guns to the pepper sprays to the handcuffs uh, to the boots you know all of those uh, you know may not seem that much uh, if you look at per unit cost uh, but if you bring it down to times six thousand newly elected Ikuruleni mayor who kept a low profile acknowledged the electricity crisis that's left several parts of his region in the dark for weeks we are faced with a lot of challenges with, in concerning with the energy department but we put our budget aside to fix that and also to come up with the plans to, 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 to restore more energy and to go on IPPs. I think those are the plans that are on the pipeline and uh, yes, we, we, we do have a challenge and also with the issue of Kakema. Having access to functioning lights, stable electricity supply for the CCTV cameras will go a long way to helping police and the peace wardens effectively fight crime in vulnerable communities across the province. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News.